Hi, good morning. This is Wendy from Creation Depot, and today I'm going to teach you really quickly how to add and edit text in Camtasia. So before we get started, you know everybody tells you this, but it does really help the video, and it's a great way to say thank you. Um, hit like and subscribe, and also don't rem remember to set your notifications. Um, it does help make the video succeed, so that's why we always have to ask for it early, because typically once you give people the answer, they're gone. <laughs> So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've, what I've done is I've gone ahead and opened up a new project. It's totally blank, and Camtasia will dump you over here into the media bin. So what you're going to do is you're going to click over here on this speech bubble, and then it's going to say annotations. You click that, and then you're going to see your callouts. So what it does is that they, they dump you into like the basic, right? I'm going to tell you to go ahead, and this has nothing to do with adding text, but go ahead and hit all, because there's not that many of them. So having the sorting mechanism doesn't really do a whole lot for you. Um, it's, it's better just to see everything you got, because especially since there's not that much. So a couple things to, to note here. Basically, Camtasia gives you four different shapes, right? Um, and then also just a plain text add-on. So let me get show you idea what an idea what I mean. When I drag this on the canvas, and that's all you have to do is just drag them over here onto the canvas and they will show up automatically down here in your timeline. Um, or you can drag them to a specific spot on your timeline and then to show how long you want it on the screen, you just drag the corner for however long you want it on the screen. That's all there is to it. It's super easy. Um, but when you want to look at the different ones. These are both speech bubbles and they're two different styles, right? The second style has this like faded out right hand side. Um, let me find another example here. We got clouds. This is the, the thought bubble. You see the little dots going up to the thought bubble. There's another shape over here. That's another thought bubble. I think this is number two and this, yeah, this is number two and this is number one. Um, same idea, just different shapes. But here's the thing. It's a little misleading because there's really only like four different ones. You can change any of these to any of the other ones. I could change this to a speech bubble. I can change it to a rectangle. I could change it to an arrow. I can do anything I want. So all that matters is that you've got your text in here and your text won't change when you change it to other things. And what's more, you can come over here to the call out or the another annotation symbol over here and you can change the color as well. So really, once you get the shape on the screen, you can make it look like any of the other shapes just by changing the colors. So let's go ahead and back out of all of these. And what I wanted to show you was that you'll see over here, you've got all these different ABCs. And this is kind of the same premise where they have gone ahead and recreated a whole bunch of these, but they are all the exact same text boxes. They're the exact same thing. The only difference between them, if you look over here on the right, is that the size changes. They're just predefined sizes. They are all the same thing. So it doesn't matter which one you use, they all do the same thing. So let's go ahead and stick with one. So how do you add it? How do you edit the text that's in here? Um, it's really simple. You just double click on the text, not the box, the text, and you can change it to uh, hi, my name is Wendy. Okay. And there are some weirdisms here that I do want to go over. Okay. So very obviously you can change your font, your size and your styles on it. You can underline it. You can change your alignment in within the text box and then your vertical alignment within the text box. That's the, the basics, but here's where it gets a little weird. Um, if you have a text box or, um, a speech bubble or whatever shape you have, whatever your font size is set to, like this is set to 96, that is the max size that it will go. But if you shrink your text box, the font will shrink accordingly so that it fits within the size of your text box. But if you make your text box bigger, it will stop at 96. So it goes 96 and lower. So if you're trying to expand, which is a little frustrating because if you're trying to expand, you like the proportions of everything, you just want to make it larger, you're going to have to make the text box to the size that you want it and then go in here and 
make your text bigger. <laughs> so that's just something to keep in mind. It's it's kind of weird. I would hope that it would just grow proportionally small and large, but that's not the way Camtasia did it. So again, just double click on the text to change your text to whatever you need it to be. And that that's true for all of them. And one thing I want to show you about shrinking your text on a See how it covers up your little thought bubble bubbles. <laughs> so I just wanted to show that to you too, because it can get a little frustrating as well. So when you're growing the shot size of this, the anchor point, you've got to move that too. So it's just two things to think of when you're working with shapes as well as your text boxes. So that's pretty much it. Um, for the text boxes, but I did want to give you one little bonus tip before we go. Um, if you are here because you're trying to figure out how to put your name on the screen, like when you're first doing your video and you want that like lower third, it's called a lower third, to show up down here with like, your name and like maybe your title, um, Camtasia actually comes prepackaged with some pretty decent like clip arty um, overlays for your, for your videos. So what you want to do to get to those is go to media, go over here to library, and then scroll all the way down here to lower thirds motion graphics. And any of these are nice, but this is just the basic te text one. Um, if I hit my space bar, you can see that it starts playing and then that's what it looks like when it comes on the screen and then eventually it will fade off, all right? Seven seconds. So once you place this, you're gonna want it to play for a little bit so you can see all the text that you can edit. And then what you wanna do is double click the text that you want to edit and then it will it'll highlight it and then once you double click it again it will highlight the text like it highlights the box when you double click it and then it will highlight the text of another double click and then I can change this to Wendy literal and I come down here to Camtasia I've highlighted the box and now I'm going to double click it and I can say creation depot and then to to save it it doesn't save the document it just keeps the the text there I just click off of it and now when I play this again, see? And so that same premise works for all of these, but you just gotta kind of figure out which one you like better. So isn't that nice? Like comes down here with everything on it. And that's the bottom of that one. There's another one here that's got two of them. Yep, see it pops down. And it's the same thing. Double click to select it and then double click it again to change the text. And the reason you gotta do that is because when you double click it, you can see down here, it's popping you open to where you are within the group and then double click it again to be like, hey, it's the text I wanna edit. And that's true for all these. So go ahead, check them out and see which ones you like best. And you may have to move them around on the screen a little bit because sometimes you want them right at the bottom, sometimes you want them up a little bit. It just kinda depends on you know your preference. And you can change out all this stuff. Like on this one, you can change the logo out to your logo if you want to. Just double click on it and then replace your image. And that's it. So if you have any questions, do leave comments down below. I'm pretty good on YouTube about getting back to people. Um, and again, I'm gonna ask you to like and share it and and comment and and subscribe and all that good stuff because that really is what, what makes the video flow. So um, with, with the YouTube gods. So that's it for now. Take care and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.